welcome is enorm. I have some good news for you guys. As you can see already here on the chart, we are above the orange triangle. So we have a breakthrough from, from the previous structure as well as if we take a look at uh, a longer view here, you can see that we have this RSI, which is the momentum indicator, and we have a breakthrough above this trend line here. So we have two breakthroughs. We have a breakthrough from the structure. We have a breakthrough from the RSI here as well. So two breakthroughs, I think that's a bullish signal. So like I've said in the previous videos, once we are basically out of this structure here, that's when I will sp I start becoming more bullish than I have been during this time here. So from now on, it looks like the bulls have control. And what I'm currently looking at as a uh, as a good price point where we might head it, what might be headed in the short term is twenty eight thousand dollars. And this, as you can see, it is a clear natural resistance line here on the price. And why one of the reasons why I'm expecting the Bitcoin price to go all the way up here is basically because of leverage. So if we take a look at how much uh, how much leverage there is in the system. Uh, this is the amount of open interest on the Bitcoin futures. So this basically just shows uh, the total amount of longs and shorts that are being placed on Bitcoin. And the green, uh, the yellow line here is the Bitcoin price. And as you can see, the amount of leverage in the system is basically following the Bitcoin price uh, very closely. Sometimes, as you can see here in 2020, uh, the the amount of leverage was higher than the Bitcoin price. And right now, you can see we have a clear divergence on the amount of leverage compared to the Bitcoin price. So the Bitcoin price has been going basically sideways here, while the leverage ratio has been going up. And this is even crazier if we take a look at this chart here. Uh, this is the estimated leverage ratio. So this simply shows uh, how uh, the same chart that I just showed you uh, 30 seconds ago. So it shows the open interest, but it is divided by the amount of Bitcoin on the exchange reserves. And because whales and people who have the long term view for Bitcoin, uh, they uh, have been taking Bitcoin out of exchanges uh, still buying even though we are in this bear market, the amount of uh, Bitcoin in the exchange reserves has gone be, uh, has been going even lower. So that's why the leverage ratio has been going so so crazy high. And eventually this will go down when Bitcoin starts trending up or down. Currently it is trending up. And that's why the leverage ratio will go down because people will get liquidated as the price moves higher or the shorts will get liquidated. And here, uh, just to basically re-emphasize what I just showed you, uh, is the amount of Bitcoin on the exchange reserves. So as you can see, Bitcoin is heavily, heavily being taken out of the exchanges. So this is a good signal that the Bitcoin is entering uh, or going into the strong hands for the future. So this is good for the future pri uh, price potential of Bitcoin when uh, it's going out of the exchanges. So uh, that's what's going on there. Uh, this is just the first preview of what's going on, what will happen in the in the in the short term. So these are the short liquidations that just happened in the last 24 hours. So as you can see, there were 320 million dollars worth of short liquidations. And previously we had this many short liquidations here in 2021 of April. So this is a very good signal that we have a lot of short liquidations. But as you can see, we still have a lot of leverage in the system. So that's why I think it makes a lot of sense that because we have the signal, we have a clear signal that the bulls are basically now in control. So the sh people who have short positions, they are now sweating like, holy shit, is Bitcoin going up? I'm going to get liquidated. So they will have to close their positions and they will get liquidated. And when that happens, uh, it's like a cascading situation that will just take the price higher. And I think 28K is when uh, people start placing more short positions because who would want to pl place a short here? right now when we have this confirmation signal, uh, I, I don't believe too many people would be interested, at least with uh, big portions of their capital. 
So for that reason, I think that the, what we see is a, a like a bullish momentum, like a cascading liquidation situation for the shorts that get liquidated. And at 28k, because it's this natural resistance line, I think that the sentiment will change again uh, that the people who have these long positions they want to close off their positions as well as the, the the people who are looking to short bitcoin because of the macro or because of this and that uh, they will come back into the market and we will see a pullback so basically my strategy now is to sell uh, something before the 28k and maybe at 28k if we go all the way there with my with my small trading account mostly i'm just holding for the for the really long term right now that i've been accumulating here but just just some small plays here and then buy more back from the from the pullback if we see the pullback just uh, some some ideas here that i'm uh, I'm, I'm sharing and just something that you should know about europe that's uh, that has been going on that i find quite interesting as well uh, that also comes back to the Bitcoin and crypto markets is the amount of natural gas in the EU storages. So the EU has filled basically all of its storages. So the target for this winter was 80%. Now they are 93.8% full. And throughout the winter, they will need to have more natural gas because this is only uh, about one and a half months of winter months use of natural gas in Europe. So they will keep needing more and more natural gas, but luckily now they have the, the natural gas from, from USA in the LNG form, and as well as they have from, uh, from Norway. And there's still a gas line open uh, through to Turkey as well. So some of the Russian gas is still flowing to Europe as well. So anyway, uh, this is a good signal that maybe Europe will not run out of gas throughout the winter. The price will be expensive but at least they will not run out. But because they are so full right now, they've had to probably even halt or s slow down the buying of natural gas. And you can see this in the price of natural gas, like you can see right now, this basically means we are in a bear market because we got a lower low here on the, on the natural gas price. So anyway, that's that's quite interesting. The price of energy has been going down. So what this also means is that the inflation expectation for Europe is going down. Uh, so that those are both uh, positive things for Europe. But in the long term, this also means uh, that there eventually will be a recession coming uh, or, or close to it because uh, how Europe got this number is First of all, they did a lot of buying from everywhere they could to fill these storages, as well as they have had to curb down the demand for, for natural gas. So they told people, uh, don't go to shower for too long, lower your thermostat, uh, stop using electricity as much, as well as many of the, the European companies have actually lowered down their production uh, because they were expecting the, the demand to go down as well. And for some companies, they are not able to get uh, the, the, uh, the, the, the resources, the, the ingredients to uh, the build stuff. So anyway, when the GDP numbers eventually come out, I'm expecting them to be quite bad. And if they are bad, uh, that could create like I say, uh, the, the, the recession situation in Europe. So for now, in the short term, I think people are expecting this to be a good thing because what it means is that the energy prices are going down. But depending how the winter will go, if it's going to be too cold, then it's going to be a big problem for Europe. But right now, uh, this is like a good signal. And I think the markets are also thinking this is a good signal. So in the long term, uh, in my opinion, the European situation is headed into a recession type of situation, as well as the housing market in the United States. It will most likely end up in some kind of a crash because the mortgage rates currently are like seven, more than 7%. Uh, so, uh, of course, the housing prices have to come down because people cannot afford to pay the, the interest rates for uh, expensive houses so the house prices will have to come down so when those markets go down uh, I think that will have an impact on Bitcoin but will it just be a local bottom or will it just mean like a like a like we go to 15 or 14 thousand dollar 
Bitcoin. I don't know. Uh, to me, right now, it starts to look like it will just be like a local bottom. So we go higher, lower, then higher, and then we have this uh, big crash. And that could take us quite low here somewhere. Uh, I don't know where. But in the short term, I'm quite confident about at least this 28,000 and then a pullback. Uh, of course, these are just this is just speculation. Uh, obviously, it may not or it may happen, but I'm just uh, showing you my thinking, uh, how I think about the situation. And just looking at the, the crypto markets, basically everything is just following Bitcoin about 7% up. Ethereum is very happy right now, 14% uh, uh, up. But basically nothing is more or less than, than the 6%. Everything is basically on the green here. Uh, so just following Bitcoin or, or Ethereum, that's basically the whole, whole story for the whole crypto going forward, especially until the, uh, the, the retail com, uh, comes back. When we start seeing the, the altcoins popping off, that's when I'm like, okay, the retail is now back. But right now we, we don't have we don't really see that. So this is currently a whales market still, but it's good to uh, uh, keep an eye out what's what's going on here as well. Anyway, I think that's basically everything I have to say for this update. Consider subscribing to this channel, uh, like this video, and I will see you on the next one.